there was this farmer standing next to me, and I still remember him. And um, he was wearing these blue coveralls, and, and he kept nudging closer to me. And, and finally, during a break in the auction, he said, excuse me, sir, he said, I was overhearing you speak the language, and I was wondering how you come speaking it so good. He said, where are you from? And I said, I'm from Seattle. And he says, no, he says, where are your parents from? And I said, well, my mother was born in Idaho, and my father was born in Seattle. And I knew what he was after, but I had just decided, since these were questions that I had probably answered, you know, half a dozen times prior to this conversation, that I would only answer him truthfully and give him what he asked. And when he said, um, are you a student at Haskell? And I said, no, I, I teach at KU. What do you teach? I said, I teach painting. And, and, and he said, well, you know, um, what's your ancestry or something like that? I said, well, I'm Japanese, Japanese-American. And he says, well, konnichiwa. You know, and, and I kind of looked at him and he said, the little lady and I lived in Japan and he said, we used to buy them pictures of geishi girls wearing them kimonos. And he says, do you do pictures like that? And I just kind of shrugged my shoulders and just sort of said, yeah. You know, and my friend that was with me was just laughing hysterically, you know. And I just wanted to get away from this guy. So for the rest of the auction, I thought about that conversation. And, and it wasn't as though there were so different other conversations, but he had sort of summarized, brought in everything, you know, into that one conversation.